So 57th times a charm, right? So this is how to crop an image in Microsoft Word. I don't know who these people are. I just went to my web browser, opened a new tab, searched for wedding, went to images, and this is one of the better ones I can find. It's getting really annoying filming this over and over. So let's just say I want the bride, the groom, the priest. I don't want any of these other people in there. First thing to do is, well, I, I need to save the file. I'm going to save it as wedding on my desktop. So you probably already have this file. You just want to crop it. So right now you're at this stage. So here's the photo. I'm going to copy it, which I use keyboard shortcuts, but you could also right click and go to copy. Next thing you want to do, open up Microsoft Word. And I just use blank document and I'm going to paste it in there like that. So if you can right click and go down to paste if you don't know keyboard shortcuts. Now, as you can see, there are dots around the edges of this image, and there's a little arrow on top. That means it's selected. It's going to come in handy in a minute. Selected, deselected, selected, deselected, right? So, right now it's deselected. I want to click it, right click, go up to crop. Now, bring this down to get rid of all that extraneous stuff. You got grandma over here. Goodbye, grandma. You got little cousin Jeffrey over here. Get rid of him too. And you just want the bride and the groom. So this is the area you want. This is the area that's supposed to be cropped out. So you hit enter, right? If you see it was deselected. If I select it, right click, go to save this picture and save it. I guarantee you it will not work. You will still have all of that other stuff. You'll end up with the original picture. You're going to end up with that. You don't want that. You want that right so how do you make it so it saves just this and not the rest you could go through the menus I, I I don't even know anymore Microsoft Word it just has too much junk in it so tell me what you want to do okay so I have it right here because I use it so often but if you don't use it often then you c-o-m-p-r and it'll say compress pictures hit enter so apply only the only to this picture. You can have multiple pictures crop all of them at once and do like a, a whole batch of images. So here it doesn't really matter because this is the only image. You need to make sure this here has to be checked. Delete cropped areas of pictures. If you don't do that it's not really going to do anything. So make sure this checkbox is checked. This here is either preference or it depends on your need. It depends on what you're using the cropped image for. Hit OK. Deselect, reselect, right click, save as picture, and I am going to save it as wedding again. Now, it doesn't matter what type of image you start with. By default, it's going to want to save it as a JPEG. You can change that to PNG, GIF, uh, any of these other ones. Um, I'm just going to leave it as a JPEG. Save. It's going to ask me to overwrite. Yes. So see this picture? Remember how there were all those people around it? Now when I double click that picture, it's just them. So that's how you uh, go ahead and crop a picture in Microsoft Word. So thanks for watching. There's more to come. Going to be more on keyboard shortcuts and stuff sometime soon, hopefully. So see you soon.